Hey everyone, I recently did a Colors of the Rainbow tag on my Sarah Lynn Fashion channel. If you're not subscribed to that or if you haven't heard of it, go ahead and check it out. But the main point of this video is that I want to bring that tag that's popular in the beauty community to the craft community. So I figured that I would do this tag because someone suggested it in a comment on one of my videos. I don't know who or which video, but I'm sure if you looked back you'd find it. So thank you whoever suggested this or to the people who suggested it because I think this is going to be really fun. So basically if you haven't heard of this tag, you go through the colors of the rainbow. So you do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then you also throw in pink and multicolor. So I'm going to show you my favorite craft supplies from each color. Some of these could definitely be in more than one color category and there's a lot that could be in multicolor, but I'm just going to show you what I have. I just realized I don't have indigo. Finally, before I begin, if you end up doing a crafty edition of the Colors of the Rainbow tag, please post it as a video response to this video so I can see it. Starting off with red, I have two products. You're only really supposed to do one, but I think it's more fun to see more than one of each color because I can never pick just one favorite. I have this clay blade and it's really sharp so that's why this rubber cover is on it. And I got this from Michaels. Of course my favorite heavy duty glue is E6000 and I just realized today that I have two different logos on these so I must have gotten one a long time ago and one recently. This stuff though is the bomb.com. It holds almost everything together forever. It's amazing. I'm going to put Craft Smart Paint in the red category as well. It's very affordable and it works well for painting on faces, on clay charms. Moving on to orange, there's more glue. I have been a fan of Elmer's glue for basically my entire life, so I thought it deserved a mention in this video. This stuff's good for just gluing normal pieces of paper together and just really simple projects like that. Mod Podge, I've been using this for a few years. I love doing decoupage projects with candy wrappers and I've done decorating wooden picture frames with this and I have put candy wrappers on a pair of shoes. What do you think is going to be my yellow fave? Crayola, Crayola, and Crayola. <laughs> I know this could be multicolor or green or anything in between, but I just would like to say that Crayola has been my favorite marker crayon, especially the twistables, colored pencils, just for really simple projects like just coloring in coloring books or making cards or signs for people. I know they're not really high-end markers or colored pencils, but they really do get the job done and you can make cool things and cute artsy things with these even though they're not $20 a piece. They're affordable and there's lots of colors and they last long and I love them to death. I love them. Love. I just can't say enough about them. I have to be conscious of how I say crayons because, you know, I say it so weird. Crayons. And I really emphasize that O oh, now because people have gone crazy about the way that I pronounce that wrong. But anyway, they are not waxy like other cheap or affordable brands. Big fan. I just talked about these the entire video, huh? Alright, honestly for green, I didn't really find anything that stood out as a definite winner or like a group of winners. So I wanted to take the time to just show you these bows that are my favorite. These are from Hobby Lobby and I use them for jewelry a lot of times. They're so cute, I put them on necklaces. Then since I'm always using jewelry pliers for different projects, I have two pairs of green ones, so I'm like, these are going in the green category. But I love jewelry pliers. There's needle nose ones, flat nose ones. I even have wire cutter ones. These ones are not green, obviously, but <laughs> they um, are being hosted by these two. For blue, I have a couple of fairly new items that have become instant faves of mine. There's this bow mold that I got from Michaels in the Martha Stewart collection and I love bows so much. They're like my favorite things ever. And I also found these tools. There's dotting tools and there's this file. These two rolls of duct tape and this one on the bottom arguably could have been my green favorite but it's kind of like more of a blue teal than a green. I don't know. On here it's going to look really green but that's just because of my camera color because uh, it makes everything look different and sometimes I can't correct the color enough through editing. So 
There's this blue, and whoa, I just dropped There's it. There's so many duct tape projects of mine that use these colors, so I had to mention them in this video. Duck brand duct tape in general is my fave, and I'm so blurry. Oh my gosh, I'm not blurry anymore. This is a little heavy, but a new favorite that I just got from Walmart is a tackle box with a dark blue lid. And I got this for like $8. Ooh. Basically, this is my clay storage, and if you guys want a up-close and personal tour of my clay storage box, then let me know. Another container, and this is my purple category. I'm going to have to skip indigo because I don't know that I have anything indigo. This container, I do have a few back in Ohio, and they have purple lids, so that's why it's in the purple category. This one is all clear, but this is awesome because it's stackable. So there's different compartments in here and there's four of them stacked on top of one another. I keep a lot of findings in here. These purple plastic clay tools by Sculpey are from Michael. I got these almost immediately after I started making things out of clay and there's a red rolling pin that comes with these as well. Another thing in purple is the Sculpey Glaze. This is a gloss glaze. If you hear a vacuum cleaner in the background, someone's vacuuming in the hallway. Yeah. The entire line of Primo Accents by Sculpey is in my faves category because there's a lot of sparkles in these and... Who in the world vacuums at 12.48 p.m.? Since when is that a good idea? No one does that. I'm just kidding. There's really not a set time to vacuum. <laughs> Alright, moving on to pink. This guy's magenta and it's my favorite self-healing cutting board from Walmart. That means that Every time you cut on it, it doesn't leave gouges or anything. It's awesome. And there's tape on this. And oh my gosh, is that a hair hanging on the back? Ew. My hair is everywhere. It's everywhere. Like I shed like crazy. Anyway, um, there's tape on this because I was working on a trifold duct tape wallet. And a lot of you guys were wondering where this video is because um, I was going to post it on Crafty Friday. But I never said that it was going to be the next Crafty Friday video. I said it was going to be the next duct tape video. I am just not happy with this design right now. When I'm happy with it, I'll post a video. It's kind of a big deal video because it has to live up to my bifold wallet video. Anyway, my other pick for pink is a single color of Sculpey Clay and it's the Dusty Rose color. I think it's really pretty and it can be used for so many different things, so I love this color of Sculpey Clay. Finally, we're moving on to multicolor, and I have a few things in this category. Surprise, surprise. Oops, I just moved the camera. Earthquake! Sparkle cord is definitely a favorite of mine, especially when it comes to making bracelets, just like stretchy beaded bracelets. This stuff is awesome. And the candy beaded stars that I made. This worked wonders for those as well. This thing's full of glitter. I'm not going to take them all out, but glitter in general is one of my favorite multicolor products, and the Recollections Big 30 pack of glitter is definitely one of my favorites. I love this stuff. I've already mentioned decoupage with candy wrappers, so candy wrappers definitely make it into my multicolor favorite portion of this video. Starburst wrappers, Dum Dum wrappers, any candy wrappers are just amazing. And Kool-Aid jammers slash Capri Suns. Um, I don't really have any with me here, they're all in Ohio. But here's just a Lone Ranger. Finally is this hoard of paint strips or paint chips, whatever you want to call them, paint samples. But I have them in many different colors and sizes and from different stores like Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. I have a lot more back in Ohio, I keep saying that, but these are just ones I've been collecting over the past like few weeks. Anyway, I like doing um, paper punch art with these and I want to do more projects with them and I look so like weird with these. Look at, look at what I got. Paint strips. Alright, so that's all y'all. <laughs> when I'm wearing boots, I feel like saying y'all more, I guess. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you make your own video, post it as a video response to this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out all my links in the down bar and you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon and I just sounded very robotic there. Alright, bye.